Hey guys, Vigoman here and welcome back to episode 5 of Camlet. Today we are working more on the farmlands outside and by that we're adding a little farming village or just a hamlet I guess with a few buildings that will house the people running some of the farms and the cattle and all that stuff and it just adds a little bit of diversity to the farming landscape around the city here. If you enjoyed today's episode make sure to hit that like button. The YouTube algorithm has been really rough on my channel lately. Lately. So showing support is the best way of helping me out right now uh, And if you like this episode as well, you can check out the other episode from this series here They should be on my channel after this episode here I think I'm gonna say that Camlet as a project is done and I'm gonna move on to something else uh, You might be wondering maybe Vigo is going back to Crasberg. Maybe he's going back to uh, Asa or Thornsbury, but really what I want to do now is to actually work a little bit on the surroundings of Camlet. Maybe there's a neighboring village somewhere close, maybe someone owns a castle in the mountains nearby, who knows, just expand on this so that we can actually connect these with roads and then gradually we're going to move towards, uh, let's say, Krasberg and towards Asa and all of that and we can tie it all in together and if you have no idea what all these place names I'm naming is, make sure you join my Discord so you can uh, get the lore, some pictures, and of course check out other videos, because what we're doing is just creating a massive world, and we want to just uh, populate the entire map here with buildings. So uh, what I want to do probably in upcoming weeks is to work on a new uh, area, a new project, which uh, is going to be uh, very closely located to uh, this place, so we're able to tie it together, because I really enjoy this small project here, and it's allowed me to to be very inspired, I guess. It's been uh, very good for, for my inspiration for this uh, map here, and uh, I'm really, really enjoying it. So I'm going to stick to that for a little bit, and then, of course, we're going to get back to Krasberg eventually. But what we're doing today is, as I've said, a few farming houses and stuff, and some farms as well in the farming area around uh, the castle and town of Camlet, I suppose, and this is like a warehouse. We're doing a housing unit for the people uh, working here, uh, more storage, a little stable, and a well, and you know, all the kind of stuff. Just uh, creating a little hamlet. I guess hamlet is the best name for this, or even though it's part of a bigger community, uh, which is really, really fun. And then we're adding a couple of new farms around this area here as well, which you're going to see later in the time lapse. So as I mentioned, in future weeks, I want to be building something a little different. And I would like you guys to help me out with ideas for places, names, pictures of inspiration. If you have like just a small village you think is, oh, this is so cute. I better show this to Viggo Man. Or you find like a mini castle, which would be perfect in the, the farmlands around this place. Please let me know in my Discord or Twitter or something. Just tag me there uh, or in my Discord. Please don't tag me. Just leave it in either lore suggestions. There's a Discord chat called that. Or just inspiration. I'm checking those chats regularly. and Because um, I would really like to for you guys to help me with some inspiration here. Because I've been searching the internet far and wide. And uh, it's really tricky finding exactly something perfect. But if we all work together, I'm pretty sure we will do that. Something I've also been uh, debating a little bit with myself and some others is more building contests. Like the one we did for the town hall of Krasberg. And, and uh, allow you guys to actually place blocks in my world somehow. Because uh, doing that is going to speed up the process of building like Krasberg or other things. And it's also going to make a better community I think it's gonna allow people to really take part of what we're doing which I think is super important but guys let me finish all this building here in a little time lapse and then I will meet you for a first person point of view
I think I'm gonna start up here once again. I'm digging the view when you see the round castle, the farms that are circular as well surrounding it and then the farm spreading out and from here you can really see the little village we built over there in today's episode. So uh, we're gonna just fly right on over there. If you haven't seen the other episodes I recommend doing that so you can see the buildings of all of uh, these buildings and stuff here. But what we have is this little farming village. So uh, last episode I kind of showed you where I wanted to build it and I think it, it really fits. We have the windmill here which is pretty close by and then there's just like this little uh, little farming village thingy and it's so cozy. I'm digging it. We have this massive tree and there's a little bit of a railing or fence I guess similar to what we have over at the village there um, surrounding it. There's these gates leading into it, massive tree hanging over and I think it is gorgeous. <laughs> I really like it. And um, there's this little well over here, just like a small one. You could open it up and, yeah, and uh, get some water from there. And there's a little stable. It's also like used as a shed as well. But you could keep your horses and cows and stuff. But also like some tools, some ladders, and planks and wheels and stuff is stored in here. And I think it's cool. I, I really like playing with the beam blocks because they allow for really, really great depths uh, of buildings. And it looks pretty, pretty cool. And it really breaks up the blockiness of this game here. Um, there's a little cabbage farm in the middle here. And uh, just to, uh, yeah, give some more food for the people. We have a little cart with some... Uh, yeah, still not dried grass or fresh grass from the farms. Maybe they're going to bring that over to... The, um, the little field over here which is probably for horses or cows or something uh, or somewhere else who knows so that's that little thing there and we have these small chickens they are so cute look how fat they are I love them <laughs> uh, they're really really cool and a little um, yeah chicken coop over here for them to, to lay their eggs in and just wander around in this entire area here and that is kind of why we have locked it off so this little gate here you can open up to get in here and another one and uh, what I really like is that it is a part of the road so the road kind of leads through here so I just I don't know I like this thing it's I've seen it from RuneScape I think a game I played a lot back in the day and there was like this you had to open this little gate and then just to continue your road on your road and then you have to lock it and move on and open another gate and i just think that's a cool vibe i want to have that here and it just creates some unique things i suppose really like that uh, then on this side here we have a warehouse uh, we have like some harvested grains from the windmill uh, cabbage and vegetables and stuff like that and maybe some oils and things stored in nice shelves over here and also some tools and, and things uh, up here we have a little a loft for wheat dry wheat or dry grass or something uh, up here which is pretty cool love the little support beams in the roof here and all of that stuff so basically just an area to store wheat so that's that it's um very simple building, same style as the other ones. Then we have the main residential house, which is this yellow one. And this one is so cute. I love this one. Uh, it's yellow and it's very old looking and uh, I'm, just, I'm just taking it. So um, yeah, there's some firewood on the outside, a little bit of a porch, which takes you inside here, which is so humble in here. And there's a little storage pantry thing for some hot, hot dogs. Sausages uh, and uh, cabbage, spices, jams, and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. And then uh, we have like the living quarters, so there's a f table uh, and a little bit of a uh, fireplace to, to warm your food and also warm up the area here. And so it's kind of a kitchen and living area combined. Up this little staircase here, uh, we have uh, some uh, hay to sleep on for the kids. And then there's like a more of a bed for the parents which is cool and I really like the way this ceiling is so low it's yeah you're kind of in the attic of the building here yeah, it creates a cool atmosphere on the inside so very happy with this and uh, down here we can go out again I'm gonna check out some of the other buildings let's close the door and this little table outside we can just sit here and enjoy the Sun 
and have some food as well. The house is pretty small, so using the outside when the weather is nice is very convenient. Um, here we have a little outhouse, because, you know, people need that. <laughs> uh, in here we have another storage building. So, uh, like, we have a lot of pumpkins stored here, which is ready to be taken to the market to be sold. And um, we have some more wheat, we have cabbages, uh, jams, and some tools as well, like a little bit of a tool shed in here. And, yeah, just a simple building. This building here is, again, built on a slope, which is something I like playing with. So, uh, you can kind of go down on the front of it. And there's a little door leading into the basements here, and there's like pota potato basement, basement yeah. Uh, so we have some potatoes in sacks here, and just more like tools and things stored in here, which is pretty cool. Uh, and um, a little area to wash your clothes in the back here, with, um, yeah, a water throw here, and some barrels with clothes, soap and things, and a little drying rack like that. And I think it's gorgeous, I really like this. And it's so packed with atmosphere. Um, on the back side of this, though, we have some more farms that has been added. We have this. Uh, it's supposed to be a wheat farm that isn't fully grown yet or something. I don't know. Uh, it's just green. Just to break it up a little bit because we have a lot of wheat and stuff. So that looks kind of cool. Digging that. And then we have some yellow things over here. Not sure what that is. But it's up for interpretation, I suppose. And uh, just a yellow farm and... This again adds some color and variation to the place and then we have the cow farm which is a big field filled up with these <laughs> weird wonky cows but they're, they're cool I'm digging them and we don't have entities on the server so we have to build the cows and honestly I think these are actually better than the Minecraft cows they're less blocky in a way so we have those running around here and then we have this little shed where they can relax under and some water and some wheat if they don't want to eat the grass and all of that stuff so it's all coming together i'm really digging this place and it feels so much alive but guys that is all for today's episode next time we're going to be meeting up with something new i hope so uh, if you like today's episode make sure to hit the like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe it's been Vigoman, and i'm out <laughs>